2021. And I think all of us could do it together, especially if we work together. But more than anything, if you are listening with your ears and apply what you hear, because these leaders are literally telling you what they're doing. A lot of times you might think that there's a secret. You might think that there is a something that someone is not telling you. What is it that they're doing? What's going on? Guys, it's the same thing. The difference between these leaders that I'm about to bring up, especially the next one that I'm about to bring up, she hears no more than anything. She, could, she probably stopped counting no's. It gets to the point where you stop counting the no's and you just focus, laser focus on jumping onto the next. You're actually dying for people to say no so you could get off the phone and go on to your next call. So this person, I know, I know she's on the top, top leader in recruitment when it comes to our entire organization. And I don't mean our organization, I mean FES. She's on the top 10 recruiting. You've seen the apps just dropping from left to right, left to right. I'm like, man, what is she doing? I'm, you know, I was gonna call her. I was gonna say, man, can, can I get that secret script? I was gonna do it myself. And believe it or not, she's not. She's actually just going through the number, planting the seeds, and she has a purpose be, be, behind what she's doing. Not only is she a new homeowner, not only is she a new art and art member, congratulations on that brand new beautiful house with the kids, congratulations on that amazing, amazing Audi, um, which if you, a lot of you guys don't know, it's called, her name is Pearly, just for those that don't know, but I wanna move myself out of the way and I wanna bring this individual that not only is impacting so many lives in the Georgia and in the United States, but she actually pouring into each one of us. A lot of you guys don't know, but she directly pours into each of us, me, myself as well, very spiritual. Thanks to her, I think our organization really has that bond when it comes to their spirituality and really, really following that flame inside of you and doing things with your heart not doing it because of money. And look at that. Look where she's at today. And you cannot say this person has not struggled. You cannot say that this person will hand the things over to her. She fought for everything. Doesn't matter how she's feeling on the day. She's always there no matter what. So I want to go ahead and move myself out of the way and bring no other than our, our new homeowner, our new r, &R member, our vice President, the Queen of Georgia, Miss Andrea McKithry. Did you make it on the line today, Queen? Yes, my brother, I made it on the line. Can you guys hear me okay? Loud and clear, girl, take it away. Okay, let me know if it starts cracking up because it kicked me out for a few minutes. And if it starts cracking up, I'm gonna um get out the car and go get on my Wi-Fi. So let me know if it starts cracking up what's up team i hope everybody is having an amazing day like i'm so excited to be on this call with you guys on tonight i'm so excited that we're ending our first volume month of 2021 how do you guys feel are you guys excited are you guys happy are you guys ready for what 2021 has for us? Well, I've been given the task to come really quick and just talk to you guys about mindset. Mindset is so, so important in this business, guys. You've got to make sure that you're in the right mindset. And the reason that I say that is because life is going to happen. It happens to all of us. It happens to the best of us. It happens to the worst of us. It happens to absolutely everyone. And if your mind is not right, then guess what? Life is going to knock you off. If your mind is not right, life is going to stop you from getting that next promotion, to get into that next level that you really want to get to because you've got to start with setting your mind. You see, something that I've been looking back and a observing not only just with the team but in people in general is not everyone has that urgency that's needed to get you to where you need to be i know that we say all of the time success loves urgency y'all hear that so much that it's probably branded in your head but do you really understand it because i want to tell you guys when it comes to the end of the volume month i've been like this ever since i started in this business the end of the volume 
bedroom. My children know don't play with me. Don't mess with me. I'm not cooking. Uh, you're gonna, we're gonna eat out. I don't have time. The end of the volume month. It's the end of the volume month. All three of my children know what that means. They might ask me, when is the end of the volume, mama? Because I wanted us to go out to eat. And they know if it's the end of the volume, we're not going anywhere. I'm staying at home and I'm working this business because I'm not gonna accept not getting my next title. I'm not gonna accept my team members not getting theirs. So how committed are you guys? Really, where is your mindset? Where is your urgency? You see, a lot of us, we've been working together for a while and I've been seeing you guys in the group chat saying, I'm gonna hit this title. I'm gonna hit this title. Now I'm not here to throw any blows because I know that, you know, life happens, things are rough, business is hard sometimes. But what I'm saying is I've only seen limited people have the mindset that says, oh, I'm gonna get this no matter what. You see, what you guys don't even realize, and I'll call her name later. I'm not going to call her right now because you will hear her testimony soon. But I have an agent that is actually, she's fighting cancer. She's had multiple family members with COVID-19. She's been going through it and she's not accepting no for an answer. She's doing what she has to do to make sure she hits senior field trainer by Saturday night because of her mindset. And sometimes we all need a little talk. Sometimes we all need somebody to come and tell us, hey, you need to get your mind right. Hey, you need to get a little more urgent. Hey, do you realize that you could be further than you are now if you work on your mindset? You see, my mindset said, okay, if these people can do this, if Andy DeVille can do it, if Eugene Fanfan can do it, if Mike Burgos can do it, if Nicola Smith-Jackson can do it, if Alfred Nixon can do it, yes, I'm going all the way to the top because of my mindset. My mindset has already taken me to pinnacle. Where's your mindset taking you to? Where has your mindset taken you to currently? Where do you see yourself at currently? Because I'm, I'm still at vice president, but I see myself at pinnacle. And see, when I have your my mindset there, I know I'm going to get there. I was a field trainer saying I will be a vice president. I was a sales director saying I will be a vice president. And so when I got the vice president, I was happy. I was excited, but I already knew I was going to get it. I already knew I was going to get there. Was it hard? Yes. Did I have to work my butt off? Yes. Did I have to stay up all night for not just a night? not just the end of the volume month, for nights, multiple nights in a row, I had to stay up all night messaging people all in California because it's one o'clock in the morning here. And I know some of them over there, it's 10 o'clock PM, they might still be up. Messaging everybody on my friends list, going and getting in Facebook jail, Guys, you just don't know what I've been through helping people, investing in people. Are you guys going to the to the extreme? Because the people that go to the extreme are the people that make a lot of money in this business. When I look at the money that I've made in 2020 in this business, it blows my mind. I'm almost scared to file my taxes. That with three children, because last year, what I made in this business in 2019, okay, I still had to pay Uncle Sam $6,000 in taxes with what I made. And I have three children. I've tripled that in 2020. So now I'm sitting back like, Lord have mercy, but I'm thankful. I spoke this, I set my mind here way before I got here. I was working like a vice president when I was a field trainer. When I was a sales director, traveling around to help my team, helping people to get to where they need to be, making sure I focused on helping my team because I knew if I help these people get paid and get promoted, then they're going to stick and stay. They're going to see that it's not just about me. My mindset is really to help them. So you see, your team has also got to know that your mindset is to help them. They got to know that it's not all about Andrea. It's not all about Eugene. It's not all about Andy. It's not all about Shammy. It's not all about Akila, Adrian, Simone, Mike, all of the rest of the leaders. It's not all about us. It's about our team. We want to see you paid and promoted. And we know that when everybody's getting paid and promoted, it's a whole movement. 
So if you are ready to change your mind, because I ain't going to ask you where your mind's at. I look in the back office and I see the numbers. So I know where your mind's at. I'm not here to ask you where your mind's at. I'm here to ask you, are you ready to change your mind? If you're ready to change your mind, put it in the group chat. Be real. I'm ready to change my mind. And if you're not, don't say nothing in the group chat. We're done pressuring you. I'm not going to pressure you if you're not ready to change your mind. But everybody that's ready, it's a whole movement. 2021, I plan on making a million dollars. I don't know about you, but I just hit a look six figures. And I'm already telling you guys, I'm going to make a million dollars. My mind is already there. Set your mind there, change your mind to where it's been at and get ready for overflow. And with that being said, we need to run these last these last couple of days of this volume month, run. I don't care if it looks like you need a lot. I don't care if you look in the back office and it's like, it's impossible for me to get my title back. It's impossible for me to get even to the next title. It's impossible for me to get where I've been saying I want to go. I don't want to hear that. It's not impossible. Start now to now, right now, y'all got me hitting Pearly. Lord, I'm sorry, Pearly. I am sitting here hitting my car. Let me stop taking this out on my car, but I'm passionate about this, okay? Now, start now. Make your mind up now that you're going to do whatever it takes. I don't care if you're a new agent and you just started two days ago. Let's hit field trainer before Saturday night. I don't care if your volume is at 1500 and you're a field trainer. Let's hit senior field trainer before Saturday night. Let's get it done. I love y'all. I'm with y'all. Let's close business. And I'm going to pass the call back over to Manny so that he can give it to the next speaker. Wow. Damn, you girl, you set the room on fire. <laughs> you got me here like hitting my head right now. I'm like, listen, guys, you have to evaluate yourself. That's one of the biggest things that I learned in this business and anything alone. You have to have to evaluate yourself. And she just dropped the mic. Andrea, you done dropped the mic. She done hit pearly. You know what it takes for you to hit pearly? Man, y'all <laughs> don't know. But guys, she said it. She couldn't say it any better. At the end of the day, your mindset is everything. See, we started this call with a mindset for a reason because we don't want to set only your expectations straight. We want to make sure that your mindset is there to follow. Because at the end of the day, it does not matter what the leaders are telling you to do. It doesn't matter what the next person is, is doing. It doesn't matter that someone is struggling more than you and she's making it. If your mindset is not set correctly, you ain't going nowhere. You could have gold in front of you and you ain't going nowhere. You have to get your priorities and your mindset together, guys. But man, thank you so much for just setting the room on fire. Look at the chat. The chat is just lit up. I really appreciate you coming in. I know you out there working with your team and everyone else, your family and your business, but you still make it time to be here. That's why I see you at pinnacle level. Forget vice president. I don't see you as a vice president. I see you already as a pinnacle level. With that being said, I want to move on to the next individual that's ready to drop some nuggets, ready to drop the bomb and ready to drop anything that's going to come in his way to make sure that we are succeeding. I think we, a lot of us owe it to him as well here. If you're not directly under this guy, most likely he impacted your business one way or another because you don't have to be directly under him, on the side of him. He actually pours into everyone. Doesn't matter where and what, even what company you from, he's still out there doing his thing, just crushing the numbers as usual, leading by example. Always remember that not a lot of people do that, but he is always leading by example, putting his team in front. So I want to move myself out of the way and bring this gentleman up. Um, not only is he a brother to me, but man, he's the life of the party. And when I say it, for those that know him personally, you know he's alive for the party. With that being said, there are RVP, Mr. Andy DeVille, make it on the call today, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Go ahead, my brother. Take it away. Man, absolutely, man. Definitely just got to give it back to Andrew. I got to give it back to you. Uh, I feel bad for Pearly right now, man. I hope she's okay. <laughs> no, no, we got to call her later. Hey, right, we got to call the Audi dealership now, but uh, <laughs> no, nah, but uh, definitely want to give it back to all the speakers, man. Um, absolutely, man. You can kind of just see the passion. Um, just everybody has on this call. I mean, just to piggyback what Andrew was saying. Uh, I mean, times like this, the last week of the volume. I mean, you just 
something just happens. I mean, how many people on this call um, ever experienced the last week of the volume if you're not new and all of a sudden, you know, you had to hit a title, you know, you had to hit a certain point in your business. You didn't know how you was going to do it, but all you did was do to do and the how happened on its own. Some of us and uh, a lot of us actually experienced that before. And uh, like I said, we've been here before. I remember times like this where uh, Andrew, man, she was on the verge of hitting her promotion. I've seen Manny on the verge of hitting his promotion. Uh, myself on the verge of hitting my promotion. Um, I remember, you know, the last day of the volume, I needed one more agent uh, to get it done. I remember the last week of the volume, I needed 90,000 in volume uh, to, to hit my promotion, man. And me, Simone, Mike, I remember we was in the trenches uh, to get it done, man. And uh, they would just get me on phone calls. We was closing people without videos, man. I mean, that's the type of energy that we're dealing with right now. And um, yes, we don't have to wait until the last week to take off. We don't have to wait until the last week uh, to, to reach our fullest potential. I totally agree with that. And um, that's a science on its own, but that's just what happens in life, right? Uh, think about sports. Uh, think about the last time you've seen a football team, uh, you know, they're down in, in the game and, you know, the fourth quarter comes and, you know, somebody makes the game winning shot, right? Or somebody makes the game winning touchdown. Um, so that just happens all around. So right now, um, this is fourth quarter uh, and, and just everything. And I really believe you want to you want to take that momentum and you want to shift it uh, into the next volume uh, into your business, man, because what it's going to do is going to set you up for March Madness. Uh, which is what we call, um, you know, tax season, right? Uh, so right now, whatever title goal that you want to accomplish, uh, man, you, you got to just identify what's going on right now and hold on to that energy like a bear hug uh, because it's going to take you far. And what I want to talk to you guys about very, very briefly, and uh, I want to go ahead and just zip through this. I want to talk to you guys about uh, different ways you can actually leverage leads uh, at this moment, but specifically, I want to talk to you guys about fear of loss. This is actually how I've been very successful at uh, bringing in agents without trying to convince, you know, how many people want to go ahead and uh, enroll new business partners uh, in their business without sounding like you're convincing them, right? I mean, I always pride myself on not convincing people to make money with me because if you guys look at the comp plan and if you guys put in the work and you guys see the results, you're going to know uh, that this, this comp plan, this business, is really nothing to play with. Uh, I mean, I've seen people that had businesses, you know, that 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 shut down their whole business to do this full time. It just kind of just show you the numbers make sense. All right. So uh, if you could allow me to just share my screen, uh, I'll go ahead and share my screen so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about, man. And uh, man, put a one in the chat if you just excited, man. I don't matter. We're not gonna talk about titles right now. We're not gonna talk about. We're not gonna talk about none of that. We're just we're just gonna talk about action. We're gonna talk about. Uh, pursuing like execution, right? Because that's really the pain point. That's really the, the key to just anything. Don't matter if you're not good at getting on the phone and, and talking to people. What I know to be true is you don't have to be great uh, to get on the phone and talk to people. You just got to be great at sharing the information, you know, and that's actually what I, I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, just being great at sharing um, that information, man. So if you guys look at the screen, uh, these are different ways that you guys want to leverage this week to go out there and get leads. Uh, and what I've been very grateful at uh, is actually something called trial runs, man. Put it a two in the chat if you know what trial runs are. Uh, finding people uh, for 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 the for your business. Uh, and this is actually, uh, in my opinion, this is an insurance, right? How many people got insurance on their car, or you got insurance on your house, or Maybe you got renter's insurance, right? Uh, so this is insurance for your time, right? And this is actually why I love using trial runs uh, as one of my ways to get leads. And I'm going to show you exactly why, right? So what first thing that you guys have to understand, uh, I don't want you guys to just think about this. This is just a last week of the volume. And, you know, I really got to think about this stuff. This is something that you got to know all around. And once you realize this, once you get educated on uh, these, these facts, uh, your, your posture it's going to go to, to, to a whole different level. I mean, you're not going to be chasing people. Uh, they're going to be chasing you. So understand the 45 year, uh, year plan uh, for every hundred people who should have reached the age of 65, they will fall in one of these categories, right? So understand that 1% is wealthy, 4% is financially fit, 5% is still working, 28% is dead, and 62%, uh, that number actually went up due to this whole pandemic, it's flat broke, right? 
Um, so just understand that there's going to be a lot of people that's going to that you're going to encounter with that they're looking for a way to make income. They're looking for a way to, to, to just pay the bills. Right. They're looking for a way to just keep their head above the water. Um, and, and, and a lot of times you're going to have two people in one of these categories. Right. You're going to have somebody that's looking for these things. Uh, but they're very desperate, right? They're very desperate to where they don't even want to look at the the, the webinar. They don't even want to look at the, the, they want to get straight to the point. Like, how can I make money? Like, how how can I join, right? Uh, and, and the minute you tell them, hey, you know, it's 288, they go on witness protection mode, right? It's like somebody's trying to murder them. Um, so just understand what we're dealing with. Um, these, these percentages definitely went up. Um, and, and I really believe that uh, some people, they took advantage of the pandemic which means they made a lot of income. Uh, and some people, um, they're struggling very, very poorly right now, man. So understand that uh, wherever that there's pain, there's gonna be success. So I truly believe that we actually have the best solution to, to uh, today's society, right? A lot of people right now are backed up on their bills. A lot of people right now, um, they, they, they don't trust corporate America right now, even if they have a job. They don't trust corporate America right now. Um, so just understand that these percentages are true. So your posture, uh, not just for the last week of the volume, your posture all around with what we have should be superior. I'm not saying that you gotta go out there and be arrogant or nothing like that, but you gotta move at a high level and understand that when you are talking to people like, hey, you know, do you got 15 minutes to look at what I'm about to show you? Cause I gotta go. Like I got somebody, I got somebody calling me right now. Like I gotta go. Like you in or you not? You know, so, I mean, just your posture It's not about the words that you're telling people, but just your posture in general. And, you know, let's talk about some of the options uh, that, that that comes with the 45 year plan that you guys have to understand. Right. Uh, and, and when you're dealing with these situations to where people they, they don't trust jobs and, you know, even if they if 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 they don't have a job, like they're desperate, they need money like right now, they're, they're waiting on their stimulus check, right? Um, they're on irs.gov, refreshing the page. Like what are the options that people have? And uh, ladies and gentlemen, that we actually have the best option, but here's some options that most people have right now that they can actually go out there and work more hours. We already know that's dead, right? Uh, most jobs, if, if you show up to work and you look like you sick, they sending you home, you just lost your job, you can't pay bills anymore, right? Even if you cough or sneeze, um, they're ready to send you home. So that option is very, very weird. And uh, get a second job. That's actually another risky one because uh, a lot of people hate their job. How many people on this call put a two in the chat uh, if, if you ever hated a job before and you just didn't want to be there anymore? A lot of people fall in that same category. And also, uh, you can actually go out there and own your own business. And what I know to be true, it's not about having the income, right? A lot of people can get a stimulus check. A lot of people can get an SBA check. That's great. A lot of people can get a loan. But it's all about the financial literacy that people might have, right? It's all about what you're going to do with the income. So owning your own business, a lot of people have the potential, uh, but they don't know how to get the capital to start the business. Or uh, they just don't have the knowledge to go ahead and, and set up the plans and, and do things like that. So uh, that's the small percentage. And then also you got the franchise, right? Uh, the average franchise, McDonald's, can cost you anywhere uh, from above $100,000 in uh, that's that's kind of uh, out of a, uh, out of the line for a lot of people. Then you got investments, right? You got in inheritance. Uh, you got uh, you know people going back to school, and uh, of course you got people that that want to win the lottery. These are people that's just pure lazy, right? I mean, uh, in my opinion, you don't want these people on your team. They're looking to get lucky because uh, if if they're looking to get lucky, they're gonna come into this business and try to get lucky. They're gonna think, man, you know, I just signed up. I paid two eighty eight. I'm ready to be rich. I'm ready to be a millionaire and you don't want these people on your team because it's all about the mindset. Uh, and this is actually why it's crucial that you leverage uh, trial runs because now you get to kind of find out uh, what people, uh, where their mindset is at. So I, I really believe, you know, despite all of these options, uh, just understand that we have the best game plan, right? This is a two to three year game plan that we're, that we're showing people, right? Uh, I don't want to say that we're offering people we're showing people because just like if you ever been to New York City, when you hop on that train and you hop out, that train is going to keep it moving. If you don't hop on a train, it's still going to keep it moving. If you do hop on a train, it's going to keep it moving. So uh, the, the point I'm trying to make, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, we have to simply show the plan, uh, the, 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 the two to three year game plan that we have, which is FES. Right. Uh, a franchise is like a franchise. Right. And this is how I love to just 
uh, uh, share the information with people. Of course, our job is not to explain. Our job is just to get people to the information at a high level and keep it moving. But you want to leverage the trial run. You want to get your insurance before you get people to the information, especially this last week of the volume, right? Understand that what we have, of course, people get their own website, online training, uh, back office, exceptional agent support. I mean, you guys heard on a corporate call that uh, uh, we're no longer allowing clients to just get onto the services uh, and, and go through all those, all those, all of those things when they sign up. As soon as the client signs up, they're going straight to the pool credit portion uh, to get them the best results. So, I mean, we just have an excellent platform. Of course, weekly pay. Uh, call conferences. I mean, just showing what we have is already uh, at its finest. So your posture, your language uh, should be very simple. Which one would you prefer? The two to three year plan or the 45 year plan? Uh, because I know that I'm currently in the two to three year plan and I'm on my year three in FES and we just getting started. A lot of people, you know, they've been in corporate America for 10, 20, 30 years. They're barely even keeping up with the bills. Right. Um, so we're not looking for everybody. We're looking for people that's looking for us. Uh, and, and, and just understand that this is a memory jogger. Right. Uh, every single person is 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 a step to, to to actually get exposed to information that we have. And you guys can take a screenshot of this, but I'm not going to fall too much on this. But every single person in your Facebook, every single person in your phone contacts, even if you reached out to them before, look, you want to reach out to them and, and, and let them know, look, I just need you to tag me in a post like I already showed you the business, like I already showed you a blueprint. You still ask me for money. That's totally fine. You're, it's not for you. Who do you know? Let's tag me in a post. You know, um, so you want to get to that point to where you learn how to tap root, you learn how to drill through people contacts and uh, a lot of people that you see in these categories, uh, the, the business is not necessarily always for them. It's usually about who they know. Right. Um, so this is your chance to really dig deep into people's contacts and have them, uh, you know, tag you in a post. And uh, it's not always about tagging people in a post, but here's the strategy behind it. And before I dive into the strategy, uh, you guys wanna understand what's a trial run. A lot of people already know what this is. Uh, it's basically having people tag you in a post. And, and the strategy behind this is basically, you wanna get them to tag you in a post before you get them to a video. You wanna get them to tag you in a post before you get them to a webinar. How many people on this call, put a two in the chat, if you ever invited people to look at a video or a webinar, uh, and, and after the after the webinar, you can't find them anymore. They go on witness protection mode, or you know, they they start making excuses like uh, I, I I gotta think about it, or uh, I have to talk to my spouse, right? Uh, put a two in the chat if you ever dealt with this before. I gotta talk to my spouse, you know. Uh, I, I don't have the money, you know. I need to do more research, like you know, they got a negative bank account. Uh, credit score three negative 300, but they got to do research, you know, um, uh, and, and uh, when I get back from traveling, like they're not even letting people travel like that no more. Right. Uh, can I do it when I get paid, you know, and, and every every Friday is like a movie Friday after next. Right. <laughs> uh, and ethics. So we hear all of these things. So your job is not to let these things stop you. Your job is not to let these things uh, uh, distract you or, or slow you down. Your job is to set up the insurance to not waste your time, ladies and gentlemen. So this is actually why you want to have people on a trial run, because here's what's going to happen. Right. Um, once you get to uh, build that rapport or you get to know the person, hey, what do you do for work and whatever the case may be. And the next step, you want to let them know, hey, John, it's nice talking to you. Or, hey, Stacy, it was nice talking to you. Look, I got another car I got to make. Um, look, I'm be honest with you, man. I, I don't just let anybody on my team. Um, or, or for those of you that's just getting started, I'm gonna be honest with you. My mentor, man, he's 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 killing it. He's doing over a hundred thousand in business. Uh, he really loves helping people, and you know he's not just looking for just anybody that he, that we want to work with. We really want to help a lot of people. Uh, so what we're gonna do, John, is we're gonna have you try the business out uh, before anything. I'm gonna have you tag you. I'm gonna have you uh, tag me in a post, and let's just see how many responses you get. Is that okay? Is that fair? Right. Because I don't want to waste your time. And also, I don't want you to waste mine. All right. So whatever you verbiage, you want to have people tag you in a post as much people tag you in a post. Don't worry about just signing people up. That's going to come by default. Worry about getting into people's network 
and you want to leverage the trial runs. And that's the strategy behind it, right? Of course, we all know that Facebook is very funny when it comes to making a post and stuff on social media. Uh, the name of the game is they want you to go out there and spend money on ads. So what do you do? When you're happy, you will tag you in a post. You want to be the first one to comment on that post. And what's going to happen is the more people that, that comments on that post, uh, it's going to bring that post up to, to everybody's timeline, right? So you want to make sure that you tell everybody to go ahead and check their inbox uh, on these trial runs. Very, very crucial that you do so. Here's a quick example uh, of a young lady that tagged me in a post after having a conversation with her. Uh, 85, she led me to 85 people that needed help with their credit. And guess what, guys? Here's a little trick. If you guys know that you need more agents, uh, why not just have that person tag you in an agent post? and keep it going with that, right? See, clients is very easy to, 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 to get if you learn how to expose. Uh, and the key is to just drill through people's contacts. And here's an example. And, and both of these individuals uh, actually became an agent because what I wanna talk to you guys about is fear of loss. See, I spoke to Jessica. I said, Jessica, man, it's something you didn't tell me, man. Like, tch, we keeping secrets now? Like, she said, what, what? I said, you didn't tell me you was a celebrity, man. Man, she started dying on the phone, right? That's another thing. Like, you just got to be yourself, man. Like, you don't got to be, like, on some corporate, you know, like, no, like, be yourself, you know? And I said, man, you you didn't tell me that you was a celebrity. I said the same thing as uh, Sanaya. I said, man, you, you didn't tell me something, man. You didn't tell me that you was a celebrity. And she started dying on the phone. I said, look, man, I mean, your post is blowing up. I said, Jessica, man, look, I got to go. I got another car I got to do. But what do you want to do? Do you want me to sign these people up? Or do you want to sign up and get paid? What do you want to do? Right? Do you want the two to three year game plan? Or do you want the 45 year uh, game plan? What do you want to do? Do you want to keep spending time away from your kids? Or do you want to spend more time with your kids? What do you want to do? Do you want to be overworked and underpaid? Or do you want to uh, be in overflow season for all 2021? What do you want to do? Right. So you got to give people options. Right. And your job is not to explain because throughout this whole process, they already seen a video. They already seen a webinar. But guess what? Look at my insurance. If Jessica doesn't sign up, I am on to the next and I'm taking her people because those people on her post need help. Right. And I'm not going to leave that um, just hanging out because people are asking for information. And that's my job get the information to the people and it's totally fine if they don't want to go ahead and do it but that's our job is to simply give options and keep it moving right and one of the things that's going to help you throughout this whole process guys right is uh making sure that you're adding people consistently every single day right uh, here's a video that i'm gonna share in a group that's going to show you how to target every single city and state uh, and add new people every single day uh, onto your friends list because if you don't do this, things would get dry. And here's a young lady that I added. And guess what? Here's the uh, script that I sent her. I said, blessings. I hope I hope you and your family are doing well in this time uh, where all that is going on right now. I'm very focused and productive in my business. Listen, you know, I know we don't know each other, but uh, I'm just curious if you're open to checking out what I'm doing to uh, make income from home without convincing people to buy a product or a service. See, credit, we don't got to sell it. We just got to share information and educate. If you're open, great. If not, that's cool. Talk soon, Andy. Uh, and specifically, just to let you guys know, she's actually from TLC. She's in another network marketing company. Uh, and I just wanted to connect. All right. So that's a little tip that I want to share with you guys to kind of knock out the last week of the volume. Uh, and, and let's go out there and crush it. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Mr. Manny Polanco uh, to go ahead and just give it out to the next speaker. Uh, let's go out there and let's get it. Man, man, oh man, Andy, bro, what's going on? That's the secret. <laughs> man, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you giving those nuggets. Um, always leading by example. I don't know if you guys were taking notes, but Man, that was some good nuggets, and that was a really nice script. Um, I need that. <laughs> I hope everyone is taking notes. You guys heard it from him. You guys heard it from that one of the top producers right now, guys. What is he doing? He's going through the numbers. What is he doing? He's not. He's not looking for a no. He's moving on. He's being very particular in the people that he's attracting because he, like he said it, he don't want to waste someone's time 
and someone else to waste his time. He want to make sure that this person is getting to leave. That's why it's so crucial and important to get people on a trial run. Hey, how's it going? Trial run. Oh, you know, like trial run. Everything that should come out of your mouth at the end of a conversation or at the beginning should be a trial run. It is your assurance, and he said it, it is your assurance if the person goes on to have success and if your assurance that that person didn't waste your time and now at least you have some leads to go ahead and take off from. So thank you very much, man. I really, really appreciate it. I think we all appreciate it. Go ahead and drop some flames. We already see flames dropping for you, bro. I really thank you, really appreciate you. Now, we're going to move on to our next leader um, here, man. He's always pouring into us. Thanks to him, we put this call today. We went on a little brunch today. We were just planning out. We said, man, uh, we got to do something for the team, especially at the closing of this five, of this uh, four-week volume of, we got to do a call. See, he's always, always thinking about everyone that's here, individuals. He always saying, what do we need to do to break everyone to the next level? This is what we need to do. And I think that he's the one that, well, we all got to be not only grateful for, but we all are here because of him as well. So without further ado, I want to bring our executive vice president, Mr. Eugene Fanfan. Did you make it on the call today, sir? Yep, I'm on a call. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? We hear you loud and clear, brother. Take it away, oh, awesome, sir. Awesome. So, man, definitely want to give it back to artists that just spoke, man. Andrea did a phenomenal job. Like, this fired up and with the mindset and just the energy. Um, again, man, that's really, really key for success with anything, just that mindset that you got to have and really take things to the next level. And you just heard the, uh, some nuggets from, you know, regional vice president, um, Andy DeVille, you know, talking about this, just the right expectations. You know, we got something where we get to be part of the 5% here in America. Because most people, guess what? 78% of people in America working paycheck to paycheck, living paycheck to paycheck, right? Because they're working a nine to five job, um, don't have enough stream of income, don't have enough income coming in um so that's key so if you guys got value go ahead and drop the number one in the chat if you guys got some value um drop the number one in the chat and we're going to be super super brief what i want to do is bring on um uh, let me see if she's on here uh if she's on i want to bring on uh angie right and i want to give a huge shout out uh to you guys because we have like amazing team right now you know the number one producer that we have in the organization we have andrea she's a number one out of my whole organization out of the top 10 producer list for customers and i have over two thousand partners so that's huge to be number one on the top and then the second person that we have is we have angie um she's number two but she always been number two or number one for the past two months so far so i want you guys to really you know, drop some flames in the chat because that's huge. Angie just got involved, say, a couple months ago, and she's knocking out the park. So congratulations to you, Angie. I just want you to kind of share really, really quickly in, in two minutes, if you can share what you've been doing that has been working for you in your background. What's your background industry? Where did you come from working previously before? And if you could, two minutes, kind of share what you've been doing these past couple of weeks that have been working for you to allow you to get all these customers to sign up. Because every time I try to sign up a customer, they say they signed up under you already. So I'm like, man, save some customers for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you guys hear me? Can you see me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Awesome, awesome. Listen, Eugene, I want to give it back to you. I thank you for being a servant leader. I thank you for just doing all that you do for the team, right? Um, a little bit about my background. I came from corporate America. I, I was at Wells Fargo, um, then Bank of America for well over 16 years. And I was a Pinnacle Awards winner with Bank of America. I was a mortgage loan officer. Ludacris was one of my clients. Um, Taylor Swift, parents, was one of my clients. I made Bank of America $35 million in one year. Out of that $35 million, ask me how much Bank of America paid me. Don't ask, because it's not good. I'm a numbers person. They gave me a check for $15,000 for the year. So I told my husband, why don't I do this for us? I know my self-worth. I know what I could do for others. 
I'm in this business because I love people and I love helping and I love educating people. At Bank of America, I was also a credit consultant as well as the mortgage loan officer and a financial consultant. So what I do intentionally, I get five to 10 trial runs a day, intentionally. I follow up with each client intentionally and also, I, you know, I motivate, I, you know, I stay on the phone with a potential client to educate them on financial literacy. And I know that I provide value and they appreciate that. And I believe that that's the reason for my success. And um, I see myself as a pinnacle executive. So um, when, I, when I came in a few months ago, I speak it intentionally. I do the things that I need to do. I'm on every training. I'm on every call and I'm tuned in. So that's what I want to share. I'm glad to be a part of this amazing company. I'm glad to be uh, with each of you. And uh, if you guys can share anything to help me, I'm all ears. Thank you, Eugene, for having me tonight. And uh, absolutely. I don't even know what else I got to say, man. You don't drop a lot of gems. On the secret, how to get this custom, man. Congratulations again on your success. And um, man, you got a powerful story and background because just the fact that you came from the banking industry and now you see the fact of the need that a lot of people need help with credit, especially with the high end clients that you was actually serving, you know, Ludacris, Taylor Swift uh, parents as well, too. So um, you definitely know the importance of credit is coming from the industry. And now you're on this side where we can actually educate people about financial literacy. And that's really key. A lot of time I always tell people, look, take your mindset off selling and focus on educating your clients because the service is sell itself. You just got to educate the clients about the process and what it's going to do for them. And once you kind of understand that mindset, I'm telling you, it, it gets so easy when it comes to getting enrolled. So a huge shout out to you. Drop some flames in the chat, guys. Um, drop some hundreds in the chat as well, too, uh, for Angie, because she's she definitely knocking out the park. So I'm going to be really, really brief here. I'm going to get straight to the point um, about some information with you guys and we, get, we only got two days left in the volume month. And for those of you guys that don't know, uh, we have a volume month cycle. Um, and every two months is four weeks. And on the third month, it's five weeks. So we're in a five-week volume month cycle. And what that means is we have only a few weeks, a few days, actually, um, only two days left to be able to knock out your promotions and then also to be able to get your services for free which is more than enough time to get five people. Like literally you have some people that get five enrollments within their first hour in the business, within their first five hours in the business. So it's really up to you how serious that you want to take it. And we're going to kind of give you um, some gems and what you could do to help you get those five enrollments really, really quick. So if you guys are ready for this information, go ahead and type the number two into the chat. I'm going to get straight to the point and we'll be off. We got a, a, a powerful webinar going on tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. So we don't want to take too much time. Um, so if you guys want to get this information, type the number two into the chat and we're going to dive right into it. And, you know, again, the very important thing, and this is why I wanted Andre to talk about mindset is because a few things, obviously we know 80% of people that's in our company and people that's just in network marketing, people that's just in business are women. Now, back in the day, it was more men entrepreneurs, but now it's mainly women, right? So huge shout out to you, uh, to, to the ladies out there, become our entrepreneurs, like the fellas lazy. And the reason why I want to start with mindset is because guess what? 80% of people that's in our organization are women. They're dominating, right? So again, we, we may not be able to relate to everyone. So this is why I want her to start off with mindset. And she had a powerful mindset because she went through so many struggles when she first started. And fast forward, where she's at today, multiple six-figure earner, was able to qualify to get her house after using our program and services, was able to get a brand new vehicle as well, zero money down, getting it paid for by the company. So now she has a car getting paid for by a company, a luxury vehicle, an Audi, getting paid for by a company, now has a house. Now she's a six-figure earner. We're just able to bless her daughter with a brand new vehicle. So this is the fact what she went through and where she's at today. You got to have mindset to persevere. And a lot of times people focus on the money so much and we don't see the money. Guess what? They quit. But when you have that tough bulletproof mindset and you're doing self-development, you're staying consistent, you're putting the work in despite what get thrown your way, this is where you're going to have your breakthrough. But you got to stay in the game. If you quit, you're not going to have your breakthrough. So that's really key. So huge shout out to you uh, for having a phenomenal mindset and really taking things going to the next level. And I'm going to go ahead and get straight into it. And then also with, with, with and kind of painting the vision, let you guys know, because you got to be real sometimes to kind of really understand, like, look, 
what's going on in America. So when I talk to people, I know that they need our services. They need what we have to offer because if you already know what 78% of people living paycheck to paycheck, they need what we have to offer. They need some extra income. So we ask them like, yeah, I don't need it. We know they're lying. Most people do, but we're not going to prejudge. That's not our place to prejudge anyone, right? Um, but again, you want to have that posture knowing that we got a solution to their problem. So I'm going to go over a few things, what you guys should be doing to really, really go out there and really maximize these next two days, right? Because again, people are like, man, how do you guys get to the next level? Man, all we do is stick to the basics. And we got something that people need. We don't got to oversell them. So what works really good, we already know for social media right now is right here on Facebook. It's two different ways that you'll market on Instagram and Facebook. Um, Instagram is all about pictures and then fa Facebook is all about words, right? Because if you post certain pictures on Facebook, you're not going to get a lot of engagement compared to the words that you post, right? The best way to get a lot of engagement on Facebook, give you guys some game, is when you post your picture of yourself, especially for the women. You guys can do that, post a nice picture of yourself. You guys can get a lot of likes and comments. Now you can leverage that into turning into either a credit post or then becoming a business partner. Like me, I'm ugly, so you're not going to see me do a lot of pictures of myself on Facebook and then put a caption with it. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put some words. So like here, this is someone I had to do a trial run for me. She did a trial run. Uh, she was able to get 20, 20, uh, 20 comments. Right? So I was able to get some customers in a row from there. So again, so many people need what we have to offer. So now she's a customer, but I'm tapping through her contact because I told what I told April. I said, April, you know, since you signed up as a customer, if you refer five customers to me, we actually waive your, your monthly fee for you. Do you mind making a post? And it also it contributes to our scholarship program for the kids. Now I'm making a win-win situation. So don't always focus on, a, on, on getting enrollment. Focus on how you could benefit that client instead of just trying to get money from them. So now I'm providing her with a win-win situation. Like, sure, I'll do this. She made a post. Now I got more leads. So I would tell people, you should never run out of customer leads. Never. It should be never a time where you don't have no leads because they're everywhere. Second thing is, again, when you're trying to go out there and, and, and get, you know, new business partners, understand we already know everyone needs what you have to offer. This gentleman here, right here, Marquise, you may not see it, but the gentleman, he owns a business. He into politics in the Orlando area. And he always been, you know, asking questions about what we do. And when I send him information, he never followed back up. He never got on board. Long story short, I just hit him up and I say, look, we got a scholarship program where we donate to our scholarship money every year. Last year, we gave, you know, $400,000. This next year, we're going to be giving 600. Do you mind making a post? He made a post for me. He had 160 comments of the post he made for me. And guess what you think he did? He hit me in my inbox. Hey, look, man, how do I be an agent with you, Eugene? And I never mentioned, mentioned anything about being an agent. But guess what? I came in from, from, from the back. Because now instead of me just trying to sign him up, like sign up, sign up, sign up, I say, let's make a post for me. Now he sold himself. Again, so take your mindset off of selling and focus on showing people. What a lot of you guys are doing, trying to sell people and convince them and beg them to sign up. You don't got to do none of that. It sells itself. You got to show them that this works when it comes to the services. Show testimony, show results. And secondly, show how they can make money. Because in his mind, he's counting up the money he could earn. It was 160 comments. If he signed up 10 people, that's $1,000 he could earn in one day. So you got to focus on showing people. Don't be focused on trying to sell them. Focus on showing people how you can add value for them, and they're going to sign up themselves. Key, so you guys should definitely leverage this post that we have here and make this immediately. You're going to have 10 people post for you. I guarantee you, you're going to get agents, and you're going to get customers. And guess what? When I look at this, we're working smarter, not harder. My first industry, my first business, the car business, man, I'm telling you, yes, you get to own your own dealership, all that good stuff. That's great. But I was working like a slave. The business owned me. When I seen the fact that we just share information, people sign up, the company do all the work, they get results, and I'm adding value to their life. I say, this is lit. Now I'm working smarter, not harder. I have nothing against the nine to five. I have about 25 jobs in my lifetime. I did restaurants. I did retail. I did everything. Cleaning tables, bus, I did all of that. But when I realized that you get to work from online or from your phone, God, this is lit. But you just got to follow the system. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Online is going to find you leads. Right? So now we talked about trial runs. Now the other thing I want to talk about is, other thing I want to talk about is how you launch a trial run. You can inbox an individual or you can make a post on your page. I inbox this person. I say, look, it's like I told you, we have a financial literacy company. We donate to a scholarship program. Would you mind making a post? He said, yes. I say, thanks, King. Here's the post to make for me. King, copy and post it and tag into it. That's how you launch a trial run. 
guarantee you guys inbox 20 to 30 people, you're going to have people post for you to get leads. And we have a lot of real estate professionals on this call. Now you guys are able to get best of both worlds. You guys get a double dip. Now you guys can get customers who's looking to get their credit stored. And then you get those customers that are looking to buy houses in your local area. Now you got a, a lead within 45, 90 days, you can sell them a home. That's lit. So if, you, if, you, if you're closing on average anywhere from three to 9,000 for a closing, think about that. If you ever do five closings a month, we got a real estate professional right now, Lakeisha Marriage, on average, you do about maybe five to 10 closings a month. All because now she has a system to qualify leads. It has all the database. See when the credit gets restored, it's a game changer. Now what that lead me to? So you want to look for real estate professionals that you can help them. Look for loan officers to work with, right? Look for uh, tax professionals. So don't always focus on trying to sell everybody. Focus on how you can help them. Show them how you can help them. Show how that professional can help them sell more homes. You can help them get more loans on the books. Focus on how you can help that individual. Look for that car salesman. This is game changing. These next two days, you want to expose this information to everybody. Because right now, you already know it's tax season. But you want to plant so many seeds. Because if you don't plant seeds, that prospect may go to somebody else. Because if you didn't plant in that seed with them, you didn't expose the information. So leverage Facebook, leverage Instagram, and share the information these next two days. You want to go all out. You want to have your list ready of people that you're going to reach out to. And reach out to these individuals. And you want to follow up. Let your follow-up game be strong. And follow up with individuals because the fortune is in the follow-up. So remember, don't get attached to the sign-up or the enrollment. But focus on planting that seed. Right? So here's some sponsor ads. I'm going to let you guys know what works. This works really good for a sponsor ad. And this other one works uh, right here. So these are some of the settings. So you guys can shoot, screenshot this. This is some of the settings that I use where I get a lot of, I use this for agents and customers. I get a lot of needs for customers. So think about it. If I spend $50 for uh, an ad and it brings me, let's say 200 leads. And out of the 200 leads, I sign up, let's say 20 people, 20 customers. That's $2,000. I figured I was worth it. So remember, you got to spend money, make money. You got to play, you got to uh, spend the play, right? You got to pay to play. So don't never be afraid to invest. Everybody here should be doing sponsor ads. Everyone here, if you're going to do a sponsor ad these next two days, go ahead and type me into the chat. Your goal, get with your mentor. How do I launch a sponsor ad? You want to get this done the next two days and we'll help you get it done. And you could create a budget. You can create a budget and doesn't charge you right away. Type me into chat. Everyone should be doing this. I'm telling you, we just had somebody in our company hit vice president, I think within these first 60 days. 60 or 90 days, and he let level one r and club. Guess what? They're doing sponsor ads. They're doing a lot of exposure because we don't got to sell no one here. We just got to educate them and let them know how we can help them, but we got to get the information in front of them. You could choose what location. You could target the individual that you want to share the information with. Game changer. This is why I love social media because guess what? Now social media is working for me. I'm working smarter, not harder. So this is what everyone should be doing. So you should never be like, you know what? I have no customers. I have no, no, uh, no, uh, no agents. Because guess what? If you don't have the money just yet, you could do trial runs. Have 10 or 20 people post for you. But what a lot of people do is they focus on trying to sell people. Again, follow your mentor. They know exactly what to do to help you get to the next level. Another thing you guys should be doing is doing some lives. You guys are not doing lives. You guys are leaving money on the table. You guys are not doing lives. You guys are leaving money on the table. You want to do Facebook lives. You want to do Instagram lives and educate people about the program. Do lives with other individuals. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a live with a Another professional, uh, financial professional. I'm doing a live with this individual. We're in both different industries, but now we can both help each other. Now we can educate the audience. Now they want to get on board. I did a live earlier today, educating them how the importance of getting credit. Now that per now people's in my inbox. Look, I need to hop on a webinar that you guys are doing tonight, because all I told them, look, this was able to do. I, the bank was offering me a, a credit card at the bank. I went to the bank to offer me a credit card. I got approved, and I educated people. Look, you guys could do the same thing, but only if you get your credit restored. So again, if you guys do lives, I'm telling you, more people will sign up, more people will get enrolled. Um, and what I want to kind of show you guys is kind of, again, I'm transparent. I'm going to show you everything that I'm doing so you guys can win. That's why I love network marketing. All your mentors that you have that brought you on board, they have your best interests at heart. They want you to win and succeed. This is not a selfish business. That's why I love network marketing. Other industries and companies working at 9 to 5, your CEO will never tell you how to make more money than them. Your boss will never tell you how to make more money than them because they'll be afraid that you'll be able to take their position. They'll be threatened. But in that with marketing, you want to see everyone win and level up because if you win, we all win. It's a win-win situation. So I'm going to show you everything I do. to get leads. to get customers. to get business partners. Um, how I follow up with individuals. And I'm going to share my screen here really quick. 
and we'll wrap up and we'll we'll go from there. So, so I'm gonna kind of show you what I do online. So I did I did a live earlier today. So I did a live earlier today. I didn't let it stay on there. You know what I'm saying? I do lives sometimes. You guys, I did live with other leaders here. You know what I'm saying? Um, she had a powerful story. She Wanda, you know, her husband got murdered. Um, and she was looking to kind of get her life back on, you know, track and everything like that. But I did a live earlier today showing that, hey, look, I got approved. I was at the bank. They offered me a credit card. I got the credit card. And as soon as I did that live, I say, look, if you want some more details, hit me up about credit um, to learn how to get your credit in order. And then also, you got to give them a call to action. If you don't give your, them a call to action, they do a live, they're not going to hit you up. So now you got to be straightforward and direct with people and let them know. And look, a lot of times people's mindset is how much does it cost? You want to let them know your mindset should be focused on how much would it cost you if you never get your credit restored? You'll be paying high interest rates. You'll always be renting. You'll never be able to get a house. You know, and let them know, not in a rude way, but being direct, you got to be direct with people. Don't sugarcoat what they can't get if they don't get their credit in order. Be direct. I say, look, don't focus on the price. Keep looking at my inbox because guess what? If you focus on the price, you're going to be paying so much money in your lifetime. And then after I let them know that, I had this individual here hit me up in my inbox. I saw your live just now, VIP. So now I let them know if you want to hop on a private call I'm doing tonight, that's going to give you free game, secrets to financial literacy, free game tonight, 9 p.m., DM me VIP. Right. So now I said, let me get your email and phone number. Now I have a number to follow back up with them. So don't send no one a link if you don't have the phone number and email to follow back up with them. I don't need this to get on a webinar, but I now have information to follow back up. You need data. So I'm not going to just give you this, give you something, you give nothing in return. So I got her information so I could follow up with her. You want to be a professional. There's two different types of peoples, professionals and amateurs. Professionals, they don't go the extra mile. They just try to do half, half of everything, expect to win. Right. I mean, that's amateurs, I mean. Amateurs, they, they, they try to, you have cut corners to try to win. Professionals, they learn, perfect. They get better and better and do stuff the professional way. And guess what? Professionals get paid professional money. And then we're going to talk about the, the word posers. We're going to talk about that later. But now I got her phone number and email. I say, perfect, you're welcome. So guess what? Now I sent her the link. I didn't need her phone number, but I needed it so I could follow back up right after the webinar. And I'm going to call her before so she can hear my voice and hear that I'm a real person. And typically, I called before. I said, let me know once you're in the meeting. My name is Eugene X, Y, and Z. And then we'll follow back up. Now I send the information. You know I'm saying? I'm going to follow back up with her on. I said, message me once you're in the meeting. Now I'm giving her a call to action. She'll text me. I'm in a meeting. She'll see the details. Now, guess what? I'm, let's say I invite 10 people on a webinar. They're going to see all the information, how we can help them get credit, and then how they can earn some extra income. So now I'm saving time. The webinar will going give you all the details. So again, everybody goal should be, you know what? Let me get a lot of people in front of information. The expert is going to work for you. So the leader is going to work for you. That's game. That's leverage. That's time freedom. That's time freedom there. So I had another individual again. And what I do is I scan their page and their profile and see what they do. So Lorenzo hit me up. I said, what's good, King? He said, VIP. I know he want the link because I gave a certain call to action if you want the webinar link. We want more information about the wealth top call? He said, yes, fam. All right, cool. What's your cell phone number? Because I need to have a number to call you back on. It's like we heard in GoPro, you don't just want to give something out, you want to get something in return. So first thing I check is, I'm like, all right, he says he's an investor, he's a trader, so most likely he probably do Forex, he probably, I am, so he probably does network marketing, you know what I'm saying? And then he says he's a gym addict, okay, he like to go to the gym. So when I hit him up, I know certain stuff to say to kind of relate with him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's a trader, he's an investor, he's an entrepreneur, so now I know what, what type of stuff to say to him. You know what I'm saying? He may be Haitian because he got the Toyota car in the background, so you got to you got to kind of know how to relate to people. So don't be that person that be so salesy. So he, he probably is because he got a Toyota. To, Haitians, they love Toyotas. For, for you guys that, that don't know, they love Toyota. Haitians love Toyota. So he probably has people's crib, you know what I'm saying, like on top of Toyota Tacoma. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> now I know, hey, look, he probably Haitian was good. So I say, now I know how to relate with him. And that's what it's about. So take your mindset off of trying to sell people. Focus on how to relate and provide a solution. So obviously hitting me up for a reason, he may not be making a, a lot of income and doing Forex. And guess what? We can show him how to do that over here, if that makes sense. So now I'm going to relate, build report. So that's why I got his number. And I'm going to build a report with him, get him on the webinar, and then follow it back up. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I do when it comes to getting certain prospects. This other person, after I did the live, she hopped in my inbox. I'll talk to this person in 2018. 
2018, I'll talk to her. Since I last talked to her, she never got signed up. 2002, that's three, almost three years ago. Because I did a live, she back in my inbox. I gave a call to action. I say, DM me help if you need help. DM me help. She wrote back. Boom. Now I'm sending her the script. I'm copying and pasting all of this. Right? So some people we don't get on the phone with, we'll do another training on that later. But some people I don't get on the phone with. I do voice notes. That's something that's great too. I'm um, doing voice notes. I know in drivers get a lot of signups doing voice tags. That's key because you don't have to get on the phone with everyone. Sometimes people just want to hear your voice that, like, okay, this is a real person. This is legit. Cool. Wow, she has well over 20 people in row. Right? So again, we, we got systems to show you how to get a lot of enrollments. Sometimes you don't have to talk to them. You just got to show who you are, be a report. Again, show, be, open up the people online. Let them know what you're doing. When you go out for a quick second, no quarantine, if you go out somewhere, make sure that you're going out because somebody may pay attention to it. Like I, I went there live, you know, Manny, Andy, we just came and kind of linked up the mastermind. We got something to eat, went to an open location, went to mastermind, and I kind of video recorded, look, I'm at a business meeting with Mastermind X, Y, and Z, and someone is hopped in my inbox. She has an inbox, is that in Riverview? She's inboxing, is that in Riverview? I'm like, yes, how do you know? She's out from that area. Okay, she's like, I know my business is. She knows Spanish spots, great. And I'm just building a report I'm from Miami Lakes. I say, I do credit restoration. I be straightforward. I don't sugarcoat what I do. I do credit. I'm not going to be around the boss, around the, bo uh, 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 around the bush, and be like, oh, I don't know. I say, I do credit restoration. I'm in the credit restoration industry. Look like you're a real estate professional. And my own type of fast. So it may not, the verbiage may not be correct because I was on a, here and I'm just texting away really quick. But guess what? I let her know what I do. What did she say? She said, I'm looking to connect with the best credit specialist in Florida, expand as many people as possible in Florida. All because of, I just showed that I was out and about. Now she see she recognized that location. So you never know how you can come in contact with people. It wasn't from a credit post. It wasn't from, hey, be an agent with me. It was all because I'm showing that, hey, look, I'm out and about, we linked up and that's it. So again, you want to build rapport with your audience. Don't focus too much on how can you sell them. Focus on how you can educate them, provide them value. I guarantee you, people hop in your inbox. You will have leads for days and you'll be able to go to the next level. That's really, really key. So again, take your mindset off of trying to sell people. That's really, really important. Um, so that's kind of some stuff that I do on uh, Facebook. Now on Instagram, on Facebook, I promote differently, but I'm going to kind of show you what I do as well. Um, so this individual, she hit me up this morning, you know, hit me up yesterday or whatever that she hit me up. Long story short, she signed up as a customer. I did the same thing. I, never, I didn't even get on the phone with her. I just sent her these messages. I didn't get on the phone with her. We'll show you how to do that later on. We'll give you the scripts. But what I want to show you was she signed up. I said, congratulations, signing up. Decided to activate your services. She wanted to buy a house. She had negative items. She enrolled to the program. But what I told her, I said, the biggest compliment is we have a scholarship program. We donate to our scholarship. Do you mind making a post? Yes, I will do. So she made a post for me. So now she signed up as a customer. She made me a post and I got more leads. So I never run at least for customers to sign up. So now she got me more leads. This is all the leads. I, now I got more leads of people to sign up. So do you guys understand the magnitude of this business? So think about it. So now let's say if I really had time, I didn't get a chance to mess all these people, but let's say I get off of here, I mess all these people and I get three to sign up. That's another three. She already signed up today. Another three signed up or five. You know, so again, let's say I do a sponsor ad. So, so mean, it's so easy to really get enrollments and make money. That's why I tell people, look, you, you got to understand the business and to stay consistent. And then this is off from my phone. So I'm not doing anything extra. I don't got to leave my house. I don't sometimes I don't have to talk on the phone with individuals. The corporate's doing all the work. This is a game changer. This business is a game changer, but you got to stay consistent. You got to have the right mindset. You got to follow what we show you. If not, it ain't going to work. We can show you everything in the world and show you what we're doing on the back end. But if you're not applying it, it's not going to work. Well, I tell people, I look, the only reason why this is not working is you're not applying it. We have some people having success. We have some individuals signed up. They got to go this right away. They followed the system. They did three-way calls. They got people on board, right? That leads to my next thing. PS3, if you're a new agent, don't do calls by yourself just yet. You want to literally get your mentor online or follow your mentor instructions or invite them on a webinar. So don't be that person when you first started, you're trying to do all the talking yourself and you, you can't answer the questions. You stuttering. They ain't going to sign up with you. 
especially if they know you, but, oh, man, you're new. You don't, you don't know, know what you're talking about. I'm out. So leverage a third-party system. Get them on a webinar. Your prospects know you, but build that trust with, with your expert. Edify. Introduce the proper way. If you don't introduce the proper way, guys, it's going to be it's going to be tough. So don't be like, hey, John, John, this is the expert. Eugene, that's it. Nah, you got to edify, introduce the right way. Hey, look, John, this is Eugene, one of the top credit experts here in the company. He knows 100% of the information. He has thousands of people get their credit stored and become homeowners. He's going to explain everything to you. Put your phone on mute. Your expert will go ahead and explain everything. Go to back for you get in the role. Or follow the script that your mentor gave you to mention to that individual to get clients on board. Game changer, right? So peak interest, leverage the information the right way, follow the system, don't reinvent the wheel. I'm telling you, it works. Leverage the webinars. Other thing is what I want to talk about, you got to have high energy. You hear this all the time, high energy equal high income. You got weak energy, nobody's going to sign up with you. Sometimes when I get on the phone with certain individuals, if your energy on low, it drives me down. I feel like you're draining my energy. I got to get off the phone with you ASAP. I'm like, man, I got to go. Your energy on low. So when you're on the phone with prospects, have your energy on high because now you'll get them motivated. So again, don't go in with low energy trying to talk to anyone. You know, you got to have that high energy. That's something that's key. High energy, make a high income. If you meet any top income earners in our company, high energy, any of the top leaders here right now within our leadership team, I guarantee they have high energy. The energy is not going to be weak. Because people want to follow people with energy, not people that sound depressed, that's negative, that they ain't like, man, I'm good. Why, why I want to listen to you? Remember, have high energy. When you're doing a three-way call, when you're doing anything, high energy. I'm telling you, you do those things, high energy, share information with people, follow the system, you're going to have people enroll for days. Promote for the webinar. So when we have the webinars, don't just invite two people and you cross your fingers. Now, please hope they hop on. It's a numbers game. If you invite two people, they may forget. They ain't hopping on. So when I see you see, I got one person hopping on the web and I'm like, nah, you really got zero. They ain't even going to hop on. Because the numbers game, if you invite 10 people, you may have one person show up. So I tell people, invite at least 30 or 50 people. And it's very simple. Think about it. If you copy and paste and text it to 50 people, it could take you no more than five minutes. You have 10 people hop on. Out of the 10 people, let's say you have five people sign up or three people sign up. How simple was that? So again, don't just focus on one. So you can probably screenshot this. Look, I got a private webinar tonight about building credit and earning extra, extra income with two top executives with our company. Would it be okay to invite you on a call tonight? If they say yes, send them the webinar link. Very important. You guys want to knock out this webinar tonight at 9 p.m. You want to have it on overload where so many people on it so they can get their information. So again, focus on who can you help because so many people need what we have to offer. If we got the webinar tonight, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. tonight, you're going to be hearing from Regional Sales Director Stephanie Polanco and Manny, regional sales director, uh, Manny as well too, right? And again, they're going to go to bat for you, get them enrolled to close out your prospects, right? Because your, mentor, your, your prospect may not know you as an expert just yet. So why not leverage the system? It's all about working smarter, not harder. Last thing I want to show you guys why, you guys probably thinking, man, why should I follow the system? Why should I do this? Yeah, this business sound okay. But I want to show you guys the potential because some of you don't know the magnitude. I'm going to be straight honest with you. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. When I first got started, my first 60 days, I did horrible. I did horrible. Why was that? Because I didn't follow the system. I wasn't coachable. And I didn't believe fast enough. You know what I'm saying? So my first 60 days, it took me about 60 days to uh, it took me about 60 days to actually hit field training. Some of you guys hit field training your first week. But for me, it took 60 days because I didn't believe fast enough. Until I went to the first event, my first training, I'm like, hold on. You know, I'm hearing all these stories that, you got a gentleman who's who lived on welfare like I did, who grew up in Miami, and at age 24, you're telling me he's a seven-figure earner making a million dollars, no college degree? And I went to college for four years? Nah, I got to figure out what it is. I'm, I'm going to take this platform serious. So now, so I want to show you guys the potential. So this is our company. You guys can look this up on your own. It's businessforhome.org. I want to go and show you our top income earners within our company that we have. It's a lot of different industries you could do, a lot of different jobs you could do. But I want to show you here, you guys can look this up, businessforhome.org. Within our company, you can see the top income earners in our company here with FES. We'll start with Alfred since he's number one, one of our mentors. We're all under his leadership. He's only 28 years old. No college degree. Barely graduated high school. Plugged in his last year investment. He was making $8 an hour picking up trash in Miami. Fast forward today, he's the youngest millionaire in our company right now. 
on average, he earns about $450,000 a month. Some people don't even make that a year. He makes that a month. So man, you, do you understand why we're so excited about this opportunity? Anytime you hear any top leader, why are we so excited? Because guess what? For one, when I seen that, that he was able to do this, I was excited for him, but also I was excited for myself. Because I know that if you could do it, I could do it too. You understand? Know all I got to do is stay consistent. He only been involved in that company five years. He was already making seven figures, I believe, the second year in the company. You got some people who work in a job for years, never seen that type of money. You guys should be excited right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, guys, that's crazy that I couldn't be able to pay out this much. There's $5.4 million, $5 million on average a year, making more money than some football players. Don't get fooled. Football players, some football players probably making only $500,000 a year or maybe $200,000. Guys, this is ridiculous. This is why I tell you, you want to take platforms. You guys should be here on fire right now. You know what? I'm going to share this with everybody that I know. Because what you guys are building the foundation, this financial literacy, credit restoration is a recession-proof business. It was proven last year during COVID. Our numbers went through a roof. We were a $200, $200 million company. How is that? Because everyone needs credit. Everyone trying to buy houses. Everyone trying to get cars. Everyone trying to get a business line of credit. We got the solution. We're the plug. And we've been around for 17 years. Licensed in all the states. We got credibility. All you got to do is share the information. And some people, guess what? They say, you know what? All right, cool, I see this. Because again, they're not going to take it seriously because you got two types of people. You got professionals and posers. Posers like, you know what? Yeah, I want to make it happen. X, Y, and Z. But when time for new activity show up, they have all the excuses in the book. They know I got this going on, that going on, that going on. You're not going to follow the system. Those are posers. They act like they want it posing. They like they're posing for a picture. They, they faking right now. They're not serious. They're not serious about their goals because they're wise, weak. Your purpose is weak. But if you're a professional, you know what? Guess what? Become a professional. Fail your way to the top. Fail your way to success. Make mistakes. But I'll tell you one thing for sure. If you stay consistent, I don't got to sell you here. You will become a multiple six-figure earner. You will become a millionaire. Everyone should be excited. If you're going to claim your spot right now, go ahead and claim your spot today. But you got to have the belief. You see it right here. Nicole Smith Jackson, $3.7 million. Valeski Borowski, on average, $1.4 million. He's not even from this country. He's born in Haiti. We've been in this country for five years. What does that show you? You don't got to be smartest. You don't got to have everything. You only got the work ethic. Jose, you guys heard from him on Monday. This gentleman here, barely speaking in English, Spanish. Grew, lived in a trailer apartment, trailer park. Came from Cuba. He only been in this country for three years. Now you're telling me with this company, you're making $1 million a year? Bro, what can you, where can you do that at? In our company, you can. Ajay Hongo, single mother, no college degree, single mom, car got repossessed, had him, got evicted from her apartment, moved back to her mom's, struggling, got involved in that company. Fast forward today. $800,000 on average she earned. Basically, that's like 200 away from a, a million. Only 26 years old. Guys, that's ridiculous. Single mom. So I tell people, look, there's no excuse in a book why you're not taking it seriously. Because you may not care about your... You may, you, may not be, you, 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 you may not be serious for your family. It's just, everyone should be taking this thing to a whole nother level. Everyone should be taking it seriously because, again, we're showing you your potential, what you can do within this platform. He said, what you can do within this platform. Bruce Lee Rochester, high school dropout. Guys, crazy. High school dropout. He didn't graduate high school. So he didn't update his numbers. But he's a seven-figure earner within our company, senior regional vice president. His business revenue does, I believe, $2.5 million a month in business revenue a month within his business. So what did I tell you? You know what I'm saying? So how many people right now that's on this call, the over 60 people on this call right now, you ready to take this thing to a whole nother level? Don't they say, yeah, I'm ready because, because you see you know, what we're showing you. You actually mean it. Go ahead and type ready in the chat right now. Don't just say this, say it, but actually show based on your actions. I could tell when somebody's serious that shows up on a training, that do all the activities, that plant so many seeds, that's going out there making mistakes, that's going and trying to understand everything. Because again, where can you go right now? You can position yourself to be a millionaire. Think about it. Working in corporate America ain't going to happen. Name one person has, that became a millionaire working a nine to five job. Oh, wait, that never happened. It's not going to happen. Only when you become an entrepreneur. 
And we got a simple system. All you gotta do is plug in a follow-up system. I'm telling you, get your spot at the top right now. Three to five years, become a seven-figure earner. You probably can do it sooner. We got people who did it within two years. I'm telling you right now. FES is the best thing smoking. Plant your flag. We only have two more days left in the volume week. You'll be able to knock out your promotion, get your five enrollments, focus on field training, focus on your team, get promoted. We show you some stuff that, that works. Let's invite people on a call tonight. Understand we're not going to be pros. We're going to be professionals. We get paid professional money. Let's go out there and serve people. That's all we got to do, share the information. So right now, you should be making a list of people that you're going to talk to, who you're going to follow up with, who you're going to help, who you're going to bless with this information, who you're going to change your life. Because somebody need this. Somebody need their credit in order. Somebody need the extra income. You heard all these testimonies. Question is, are you going to go out and share information or are you going to be selfish? Let's go out there and bless people. I know 2020 was a crazy year. That's in the past. But this year is going to be the year of transformation. It's going to be a huge shift, a shift of wealth. And it's already proven. But the question is, what side are you going to be on? Are you going to be a part of when you get in the wealth or are you going the opposite end? That's the real question. And again, not for us. Because we already know we're going to get a spot at the top. All the top leaders you heard from. But it's up to you if you're going to do this for you and your family. So let's get to work, man. Let's go out and serve people. I'm super excited, man. I'm going to go ahead and give back to you, man. Let's go ahead and close out. Let's get everybody on this 9 p.m. webinar tonight. We'll give you everything that's needed to be able to uh, get people invited on tonight. So with that being said, go ahead and take away, man, and close out. And uh, man, let's take this thing to the top, but let's really serve people. And last thing I want to leave you guys with, one thing I said this last time on our leadership call, that everyone that's involved in that leadership, man, this whole team, I'm telling you, if you really want it, if you don't want it, that's fine. You, that's fine. But everyone here, we're going to take everybody, the leadership, we're going to work together. We're locking arms because we're in the trenches with you guys. You guys can see it. We're locking arms and we're going to create so many six-figure earnings here. We're going to create so many seven-figure earnings here. We're going to create so many success stories, but we're really going to go out there and serve people. We're going to do it for this group but only for the people that want it. If you don't want it, we don't have time to waste because so much people really need our help. That's cool. Stay on the sidelines. We're only running with the runners, the people that really want to go out and serve people, bless other people. This is what this leadership want to do. We're going to go all out. I'm telling you, we've seen what happened before. We created six-figure earning. We got people that hit R in our club. The question is, do you want to be that next one? And we're going to do it for this group. We're going to be here. It's like you guys heard from that new VP. We're not going to just be leading from the front, lead from the back. We're going to lock arms and run with you. That's what we're going to do. Because again, this is bigger than us. It's about who can we help because so many people out there suffering right now. And we can go out there and change your life. And by default, we get blessed at the same time. So let's get to work. Again, your mentor that's there for you, respect their time. They want to see you win. Work together with them. And I'm telling you, man, we'll, we'll take this thing to a whole nother level. So back to you, Manny, man. And I'll see you guys at the top. Man, oh man, thank you so much, Mr. Eugene Fan Fan, for that, man. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited because just like Eugene said, our vision, where it's going, I know where you guys' vision is at, I know where mine is at. And that's the thing. I want you to always be respectful of your leaders' time, be respectful of your leaders that are here sharing all these nuggets because they couldn't be anywhere else, but they decided to go ahead and pour it into us. They decided to give us those nuggets. Thank you, Eugene. Thank you, Andy DeVille. Thank you, Andrea McKeithring, and thank you for that amazing, amazing testimony as well that you gave. Uh, and man, I can wait to see all of you guys where? At the bank, baby. We got to see each other at the bank at the top. But just remember, apply everything you learned today. Don't take it on a piece of paper and put it in a chair somewhere or in a page. No, don't do that. Go ahead and whatever you took right now in, all these nuggets, apply them. Apply them now. Like literally when we log off, apply them. Invite for 9 p.m. webinar. I'm going to be looking my best. I'll put a suit on for you guys. And I'm going to be giving in my A1 so everybody gets those signups. Like Gene said, we are all here to fight for you guys because if you guys are winning, we also winning. And when the whole team is winning, who's losing, baby? Man, appreciate everyone hopping on. Make sure you go on the chat and you copy the link. Make sure you are sending the link correctly. Post flyers on social media. Have people post for you. Invite, invite, invite. See you guys at the top, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go.